Did you carry the M1 then with you? Yeah. yeah. The Garand? Uh, the, yeah, the M1. Your dad's got one there. Yeah, see them Russians, they, are, they aren't real big guys. Did you carry a bandolier on you then? We All had, the bullets? Or? We had a, a belt of ammunition. We had two bandoliers, and then it had two grenades hanging on us. Uh, one grenade on each side, and that's what everybody carried. How often do you have to get more ammo? Were you would you go through it pretty fast? Or? We wouldn't, but the BAR men would. Uh, we, there weren't too many automatic weapons in just the BAR. And they had what they called a grease gun, which was a little short one. But uh, they didn't have many of them, and uh, they weren't too good. They uh, they relied on that BAR all the time. M1, you had to pull a trigger for each bullet you fired. It was automatic, but you had to pull it. When when you first got in as replacement, were you having, did you have to? Uh, how often were you shooting your gun? Like were you shooting it every day or? Oh no no. Uh, Once a week or every few days or. Well, I don't know. Just uh, depends on where you're at or. Yeah, it depends when you get, come to a town. Uh, depends if there's any resistance or not. You know. There's any resistance, then there's always a lot of a lot of firing, a lot of shooting. Then I remember the first time we uh, they had trouble getting in this, this town of Camberg, and we had to cross an open field. So they lined up about uh, two or three uh, squads line them up and then everybody ran at the same time over an open field and you could hear them shooting at us but you just kept running on running because you couldn't stop you there was no place to hide you ran until you got to the edge of town until you could get covered 